All right, so welcome to the set of videos related to uh, the use of QGIS, uh, which is an open source geospatial software package uh, for doing a wide variety of analyses and just you know, working with spatial data in general. So uh, before you can begin, you're going to need to download QGIS. Um, you should get it from the official site, so this is QGIS.org. Um, and let's look at what the download options are. So if we go to download now, we'll see there's a variety of options here. <clears throat> I'm on a Windows machine, so these are some options for Windows. But as you can see, there are builds for, uh, for Mac and for Linux and whatnot. Um, so that's one benefit uh, working in the QGIS environment. Um, it's uh, it's uh, available on a wide variety of operating systems. Um, uh, which, you know, which isn't always the case with all the soft all software packages. All right, so um, looking at the Windows install options, we have 32-bit and 64-bit. Um, I'm working on a 64-bit machine, so I would use the 64-bit. You also see two broad groups here. So we see QGIS standalone installer and this OSGO uh, 4W network installer. So when I install QGIS, I generally use uh, this OSGO installer because it's going to install not just QGIS but some other open source tools which are useful and you know, worth having on your machine if you work with spatial data. So uh, specifically, it's going to install QGIS. You'll get GRASS, which is another open source GIS software, um, and then the uh, GDAL or a Geographic Data Abstraction Library. Okay, so I've already downloaded this. I'm just going to open the installer here. Uh, just so you can see it. So if we did desktop installer, it's and then you can see the different components here. So it's going to install QGIS, GDAL, which is the Geographic Data Abstraction Library, and then GRASS GIS. Um, so I'm not going to run this install. It's pretty self-explanatory. Note that it might take a little bit of time, um, 10, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes if you're on a slower machine. Um, but then once it's installed, you should be up and running and ready to start you know, working in this environment.